What's up, Glassy Gang? It is Glassy, and today we're going to be bringing you some more Halo Infinite news. Now, when it comes to the Halo Infinite stuff that we're talking about, we're more specifically talking about Halo Infinite's problem with geo filtering. All of us have been having an issue with it, whether you're playing on Xbox or PC, and I've honestly noticed it more on PC than on console players. But here's what 343 has to say about the whole issue. 343 Industries states, Normally when a match is created, the matchmaker hosts the game on a server with the best connection for the highest number of players in the lobby. That means sometimes it'll select a server that is in between all the players, and at times will pick a server that is closer to where the majority of the people that match are located. However, if one of the players in the lobby is geofiltering, they will then force the game to be played on their data center to be clear. This means that geofiltering players' actions take effect after all the other players have already been selected for the match. This happens because the matchmaking system pulls the lobby together when it is still believes that all the data centers will be available to host the game. Then, in the process of picking out the best data center to host the match, the manipulation blocks out any servers that geofiltering player does not allow. When the players do this, it creates a small benefit to them at the cost of making match worse for everyone else. If you think about it, for a lack of better words, it's pretty shitty. And honestly, it's not just a problem with the individual player, but the problem with the system that actually allows this to happen. Therefore, it is great to see that 343 is finally on the case, but what are they actually going to do about it? According to Halo Lotus MX, Halo Infinite update on latency and geo filtering. You can have quality matches with players from your respective regions more often, increase the priority of low pings on our servers in the matchmaking process, and prevents players from geo filtering their online matches. Ultimately, if 343 Industries can fix the way that matchmaking works in Halo Infinite, then they'll resolve the entire geo filtering latency problems instantaneously. The reality is, on the ground, that, that Halo Infinite owes a lot of its performance woes to the matchmaking system, which really needs a huge overhaul. To the developer's credit, they do seem to kind of be on top of it. Uh, in another blog post by 343 Industries, they admitted that the ongoing problems with the ranked matchmaking in particular acknowledged that, quote, there's still work to improve on ranked matchmaking as well. If they follow through on these promises, then Halo Infinite will likely see a great deal of uh, improvement over the coming weeks. You have to admit, I mean, even if you aren't the biggest fan of Halo, 343 is, you know, is definitely on top of things. But... Honestly, as a Halo player, not just someone who reads the news on Halo, not much is actually being done. Uh, the entire Season 1 has been kind of wrecked. Uh, I, I finally got up to Diamond 2, and Diamond 2 was a struggle, and I know that I'm not crap. But some players are pretty crap. But are you on console? Are you on PC? Which one of those are you having problems with, and what exactly kind of problems are you having? Because I'm having, uh, you know, high pings, low latencies, a bunch of issues that just are preventing me from actually playing well. I will hit players over and over and over again, and they get no damage done to them, but next thing you know, I'm getting back slapped from somebody that was never even near me. But anyway, guys, that's the news that I have for you. Make sure you leave a thumbs up. I'm glad you watched the video all the way through, because you know I need that help with the YouTube algorithm. So drop a comment, leave a like, and I will see you guys in the next video. You're quite lethal with that. Victory!